Last time on Sea of Stars. And we got it! Yo-ho! No! Well, in the previous episode, we defeated the Stormcaller, the guy responsible not only for the Sea of Nightmares, but also for Hortense's horrible imprisonment there on the Vespertine, which we have now claimed. And it is ours, which means that today, friends, we are going to give the people of Brisk a new beginning. That's literally the name, by the way, of this section of the game. It's called, in the same book, A New Beginning. So... Let's go ahead and talk to Hortense, and let's get this party started. And hey, welcome back to yet another episode of Sea of Stars right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another episode. Let's go ahead. Hortense asking us if we're ready to take the settlers to their new land. And you know what? We are, yeah. My magic map should work in this realm, too. To the northeast, then. Those who want to leave for new land, all aboard! The island is to the northeast of Brisk. Don't forget to use the map if you need! Oh, I knew it! And we, of course, do indeed get to use the Vespertine. And look at this, friend. So we're here on Sleeper Island. We can see Lucent here in the middle. The Wraith Island, I should say. We Sleeper Island and then Evermist Island, where we began this very same journey. It looks like we can also dock here. The island is to the northeast. Can we not? Uh, Hortense just won't let us. Okay, fine. Oh, wait a minute. We can enter the boat as well. Let's do that real quick. That's a good boat we got. Just got to treat it well. Yeah. We can hear the pirates playing music. There's a mulligan. We've got all the supplies we need. Hortense, uh, looks like we could talk to her to set sail again. Can we go down into, yes, and we can find her stuff here. Uh, I'm not sure if we need anything. I wonder if, uh, it looks like probably all of the items and chests and stuff that we could have gotten in the Sea of Nightmare were probably missable. Maybe that's why there were no items there and it was just, it was just like things you could, like picnic baskets and stuff that don't count as chests, right? That must be the reason why. Looks like we can also jump down there if we want, but let's do a quick little check around the ship, see if there's anything interesting. Oh, look at this. Underneath, we can find somebody cleaning. Yolanda's the best boss I've ever had. Sarai's here as well. Not Captain Cliche, Sarai. Interesting. There's also a... Whoa! What is this? Whoa! Playtime, enemies defeated, death count, gold collected, fish caught, meals cooked, the feats that we've done, 42 of them, the answer to the universe, my friends. Bring all conscious to Myrna and Dakari village. Catch every fish species at least once. Bounce a moon ray. No, I did that one. What do you mean? I did that. I have the trophy for it. Cook every recipe at least once. I knew that was going to be a thing. Unlock all combos, listen to all the campfire, find every single treasure. <gasps> they do keep track of that. 77 out of uh, 187. That is dope. So apparently there's a little, little thing that keeps track of our file. Love that. And it looks like Valir is here as well. Horton said the island we're looking for is to the northeast of Brisk. Yeah. And Garl, of course, is in the kitchen making food. What a guy, this guy. These people need a new start. I know just how to plan this. Okay, cool. Have fun. There's also a save point in the ship if we need it. And more importantly, there's also a wheels table. Ahoy! Fancy a game of wheels? Champion game? Wait a minute. <gasps> this is new! So we get to face Yolanda? Is what it looks like to me. Well, time to wheels it up. All we got is the mage and the archer. It looks like we're against an engineer and an archer. So we're going to hope for the best here. An engineer is actually pretty strong. So we'll see what we can do. I believe they can actually... I believe the engineer is good at building the 
uh, the, the, the bulwark there. So we're going to go ahead and I've already given a pretty thorough explanation of wheels. So we're going to go for what we, well, that's great. So we'll just continue with those. Give a big old boost over to our archer here. And look at that. Archer already able to attack. Love to see that. Already three damage on... Uh, three face damage, if you will. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep those and hope for more of the blue. Perfect. Archer getting to attack yet again right over that bulwark. Already four face damage. And the archer is now leveled up as well. If we can keep this go- oh, wow, that's actually just a great hand for the mage, so let's see if we can... Perfect! Get a little bit of promotion on there, and we'll get some points over. That bulwark getting a little large, though, so... Their archer getting an attack in on us as well. And we should be able to get the archer to attack the bulwark here. It won't do much, it'll do about two damage. Looks like the Engineer was able to get an attack off on us, but that's okay. We were able to get a little bit of a, an attack on their Bulwark. Really, we just need the Mage to attack now, which looks like this is a good round to try for that. And the Mage will attack here. Taking down, hopefully, two health left. We just need the Archer to uh, attack, and we will win this thing. This actually went really well you know when you have that much bulwark in one round might as well just go for it you know what i mean oh the engineer taking out that entire bulwark though because of how much damage that actually does holy smokes okay and mage is going to attack the bulwark and then finish it off and there we go we won our champion wheels game aboard the Vespertine. Let's see what happens. Well, you went and did it. Congratulations, here's your prize. And we get a silver wheel, which means we are now that much better at wheels. Nice, so worth doing for sure. I wasn't sure if it was just like a way to practice or what, but we went, we now have, so we have the copper wheel, the bronze wheel, and now more importantly, the silver wheel, which just replaces. So it's not like you get to choose which wheel you're using, right? You just have the silver wheel now, which has less blank spots than the bronze wheel does, uh, but less than say probably the gold, I'm guessing is what that's going to be. Also, Hortense playing with the band. I, this be the one thing I love more than sailing. She's amazing. I'm feeling this, pal. Slap a bass, pal. Music beats everything, and nothing beats music. That's true. I, I, I have to agree. New music sheets. I give them here. Oh, right. Bardcore is the way to go. So we had the music sheets. Do we? Do we actually like deliver them? Is there a way to track that? Yeah, we no longer have the music sheet number two that we had earlier. So. We have a... Oh, yeah. It goes right from track 9 to track 14. Nice. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and sail. And I am curious to see... It looks to me like we're not going to be able to... We're going to go see if we can check back with... Oh, there's an island here. But no way of actually docking. But there is a shrine there. There's also something on the ground in the in the ocean. It almost looks like a light puzzle. But we can't do anything with that yet. Huh. This, though, is the Elder Mist Isle. No way to dock here either, though, unfortunately. Which means that we only have one place we can go. I mean, we could just cruise around the map and see, but that's where we started our journey, friends. So long ago now, there is some really cool stuff out in this ocean, friends. Uh, maybe a little, like, if you have, what, thalassophobia or whatever, that might be a little terrifying, but, you know. All right, well, 
Looks like that is definitely going to be something. I went and discovered as much as I could right now around the map. We found like a bunch of different Solstice Shrine Island, Evermist, Steel Pond, Watcher Island, Hiker Rest. I don't know, but it's got a star next to it. And then Mesa Island, Solstice Shrine Island, and Settlers Island, which is where we need to go, friends. So we're going to head over there to the northeast. And it looks like it is a little bit snowy of an area, which I think sounds really cool. What about the music, though? Oh, I love it. All right, let's head in here. All right, everyone. There's plenty of wood here to start building hovels. Ready to work. Nice. Those who could use an ax should get to it right now. I could do that. They are making Warcraft 3 references right now. Are you kidding me? That That is amazing. That is amazing. I'll get a stew going to keep us all fed. Whenever someone's in need of a task, just come see me. I'll go fishing. Okay, that one's not a, that one's not a final, I don't, that's not a Warcraft 3 one. Oh my god, Yolanda! This is... After the trauma that, that our Solstice Warriors just went through, seeing everyone come together and build this new... new area. Wait a minute, does this mean we're gonna have- Oh, <gasps> We get the trophy home, build your own town. Are we gonna be able to build our own- Are you kidding me? This game just gets better and better. Now you give us town building? And in an in a, in a RPG like this, I am- mm. A few days later. really coming together. Zael, Valir, a moment of your time, please? Of course, what is it? Uh, we went woodcutting deeper into the island and found a strange entrance. Wait, was anyone hurt? No, no, uh, we left right away because it felt kind of eerie. We thought the island was completely deserted. We'll go right now. Thank you. Could you please let Garl know? We'll be back as soon as possible. We'll do. Well, but we should check this place to the north before going back. No, I want to go back. Fine. Look at this place and the music and like, I, it, I, it sounds so hopeful. I love it. All right. Can we, can we go to this pond first and do some fishing? Yeah, there's two new fish here at Settler's Rest. Come on, you know me, friends. Go ahead and do some fishing. 20 minutes later. Wow, that one was hard to catch, but we were able to get a crimson bass, which is new for us. And there's one more that we haven't seen yet. Oh, and the new one, which what the heck is that? A seek jump. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab that. And I think that's all of the new fish we can get here. Yep, we got the crimson bass. Obviously, we already had the hard shell in the grass haddock and the seek jaw. It has been a while, friends, since we have gone fishing, has it not? Well, we got everything there. I did a little check around and there was no items or anything to be had here at this Settler's Rest fishing pond, which is pretty cool. Looks like we don't have a name for our little town that we built yet, but, you know, soon. 
All right, so this is where we need to go. They found an ancient crypt. Uh-oh. This place seems huge, but I don't sense any evil anywhere. It looks so ancient. My, oh my, visitors! Huh? Oh, just here, to your right! Welcome to the crypt! Are you a talking lantern? I am the crypt walker! Though I must admit, seeing as my fire went out, it is a bit challenging to greet visitors. You, the sun one, mind giving me a little spark? Uh, sure. You do know there's fire literally all around you, though, yeah? What the... Much better. Please follow me. It's right this way. Uh. Now, who have you come to commemorate today? Oh, we aren't here for that. Oh? We brought a group of settlers to this island without knowing it was occupied. Well, technically, it's not. You say people have come to live near the crypt, then? Yeah, if that's okay with you, we really need to make sure they're safe. Oh, absolutely. Visitors, neighbors, the more the merrier. All I want is for the crypt's mementos to be witnessed. This place contains thousands of stones, statues, and monuments dedicated to the memory of the early builders and visionaries of this little world of ours. And I do mean thousands. Feel free to appreciate the place and its monuments at your convenience. If there is a specific piece you're looking for and have its coordinates, I'll be happy to show you to it. Otherwise, rest assured that this script is entirely neutral and optional. So if you would rather move on with your adventures, you could do so right away. Don't be a stranger now. Uh, what? Ancient crypt. Wah! What? Gabrielle et beau, j'avoue M. Rest in peace, Lesson Fox. For my father, Emina's Michelle. May we forever remember Jay Collin. Oh, I know what this is for my beloved. Oh, I know what this is. This is awesome. This is really cool. It is. So for those that don't know, uh, sea of stars had a very, very successful Kickstarter campaign. I believe that these are all names of people who have kickstarted. So if you're watching this and you kickstarted sea of stars, I unfortunately did not. Uh, it was actually like already done by the time I even heard about the game, oddly enough. Uh, but if you, if you are some, if you're, if you're here, if you have a code or whatever, you want me to see it, let me know. So these are the the bigger backers, I believe, that got like statues, uh, like big, obviously like pretty big statues, and then they have like the biggest ones here in the in the back. Oh, this one's got a dog. To my mom, who is always there for me. Oh. That's nice. I'm not crying, you're crying. Imagine have, ugh. Beautiful, dude. Ugh, I'm not crying. This is really cool. This is wildly cute. That's wildly cute. I don't know why this section is making me so emotional, but. Oh. Okay, I gotta get out of this section or I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, no, oh, can't do it, gotta go. Every battle you've endured has led you to become the hero you are today. Never stop fighting, never stop believing. 
Ugh, people's memorials to pets in a damn video game is breaking me. All right, how do we get out of this place that just makes you weep? How do I get out of here? I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? I need, I need to leave. Help me. Help me get out. Oh my God. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Okay, there's little portal things we can use. Oh my gosh. I'm emotional. But more importantly, there's a rainbow conch out here that I almost, I saw it, but then I was like, we were obviously in a cutscene, so I couldn't grab it. But there is a rainbow conch out there bringing our total up to, I believe, 22 now. So that's pretty cool. All right. I think that's all we can do here. But what a wonderful, what a, just a brilliant way to uh, eternalize your backers that made this game possible. And to all of those people, I say thank you because this game has been just beautiful so far i'm covered in tears but hey that's okay hey you're right on time for the next town gathering what did you find it's just a very old crypt the spirit who lives there is friendly and says we're welcome to build here great all right, gather around, everyone. First off, Zael and Valir investigated the entrance in the woods and were able to confirm that it is completely safe. Yay! What a relief! And now, time to name this town. Big thanks to all who dropped ideas in the bag. I guess I'll just... And the name is... What? Garl? Hold on here. Garl? Garl! That's no name for a village. Look alive, son. Seems to me these people want you to name the place. Oh, Garl. <laughs> Me? You've been quite the leader, pal. The honor should be yours. Go! Go! Okay, I'll try. What's the one thing these people need? Joy? Nah, two on the nose. Hmm. Ah, new beginning. Positive outlook. Huh. Oh, oh! Mirth! Town of Mirth. Mirth! That's so pretty! Town of Mirth! Town of Mirth! A fitting name indeed. <laughs> Leave it to Garl. Seriously, how does he do it? All right, let's get back to work. We still have lots to do. I don't know, I'd stop doing his voice. I, listen, everything's too cute and I'm, I'm, I'm breaking here. A few more days later. Everything's so forking cute, man. That was a lot. Looks like they can take it from here. Way to step up, Garl. Fun little change of pace, too. Young masters. An old man is here to see you. Huh? Must be the headmaster. Oh, I don't know about that. Where is he? He just arrived at... Oh, uh, there he is. Yep, headmaster Moraine. What's going on, buddy? I see you have done well. Headmaster, where have you been? At the academy, doing research and racking my brain. And? <sighs> I'm afraid I bring bad news. We simply do not have the numbers to fight the Dweller of Strife. But there has to be a way. I'm sorry, Valir, 
the miracle we need exists, it is not documented within our walls. Then we hunt it down and give it all we've got. I won't be joining you. What? But you're the headmaster. Surely you don't mean that. You do not understand. The Dweller of Strife has a measurable power. Without an eclipse, it stands impervious even to our magic, and there won't be one before it's done gathering its power. The Dweller of Strife took almost everything away, even back when our order was in its prime. I won't let it take any more from me. Headmaster. I resign. Okay, dude, you don't have to strip to resign. What are you doing? Hey, hey, headmaster. Until the dweller strikes, I want to live free of the burden I have carried my entire life. Please, allow me this. I have endured more than can be expressed. As you wish, headmaster. We can't force you. Thank you. I... I have much grieving to do. Getting onto Mesa Island will be a challenge without the help of its guardian. We're lucky to still have Yeet stole in Yeet. Yeet? Yeet, yes. Didn't the Elder Miss give you the name of the giant that takes you home? Ah! Uh. Uh, but I digress. Mesa's Island's giant has been put to sleep by the Fleshmancer Acolytes. Only it could remove the magic barrier concealing the island, but it refuses to wake. For all my research, it seems that it is not a curse we can break. Zale and I are not giving up. My dear Valir, I had a hunch you would say that. So you are adamant on trying to reach the Fleshmancer's old castle and taking a shot at that thing? Uh, absolutely. Then you will need to remove that barrier. While I do not know how this may be achieved, there might be someone who does. So, you do have a lead for us. It is my nerves that have given up, not my faith in you. Here is your final gift from me. The Coral Hammer. All right! Don't know what that does. Make for Watcher Island, where the lost city of the Dakari lies deep under the waves of a blue lake. Ring the bell with the Coral Hammer, and they will know you were sent by a friend. Seek an audience at their temple. If anyone can offer you guidance now, it is the Oracle of Tides. Oh, and you may want to visit Evermist Island again. You are ready for its shrine now. Here's the key. And we got an Evermist Shrine key, which obviously we need to go do. Thank you, Headmaster. This is more than enough to go on. Please, just call me Moraine from now on. So where will you go now? Anywhere that isn't Zenith Academy. Hey, why don't you stay here in Mirth? Mm hmm Everyone here is also looking for a fresh start. Uh, Carl's right. Plus, it's missing an official town elder. <laughs> that does sound like a job I could do. Everyone will be more than happy to help you get settled. Yes, this place carries the kind of peace I need. Thank you, brave Garl, for making me smile at such a time. Sure thing, town elder. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, but I need his staff and stuff. So the order is down to the two of us now. Time to find our own way. Two of us? I count four. Where do you want to go next? Oh, definitely Elder Mistyle. Now that we know the name of the giant, it sounds like you could learn new powers if we visited the shrine on Evermist Island. Evermist, not Elder Mist. Or we could save that for later and go looking for the Oracle of Tides now. Watcher Island is the one with a big meditating statue. We're with you either way. This, y'all, I am, I maybe I'm just like in an emotional state or something, but this whole section has just been just, just beautiful, y'all. Like really, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, who's this guy? Bob. Oh, Zale and Valera. Perhaps you could help me. I feel like Mirth could benefit from more amenities, but I find myself at an impasse. You see, building small houses is easy enough, but for more complex structures, we would need some plans. If you find any, would you mind bringing them to me? Mirth would only be better for it. 
Have you found any new building plans? Ah, so this is Bob the Builder. So, funny story about this one, friends. So, now you know that it's taken me quite a while to come back to the series and stuff. Uh, and, you know, hopefully, hopefully, the, uh, I'm enjoying the game no matter what. So, I like making videos on it. Uh, but, you know, it it's not doing that well, unfortunately. Uh, but, this actually used to be Gerard the Constructionist which was a reference to Gerard the Completionist, uh, who I have met uh, many times and has always been very wonderful and delightful uh, in person and very nice um, and seems like a very uh, uh, friendly person um, who unfortunately may have done some tax stuff. So uh, obviously I'm not commenting on any of that, but they patched the game. They, they removed him from it, and it looks like they put Bob the Builder in here instead of Gerard the Constructionist. Uh, so I thought I would just point that out. Whether, however you feel about that is, is uh, well, that's, that's what happened. So, anyways, we have a save point. We have a, the town of Mirth. Feels good to be worrying about mundane tasks again, like knocking our stuff. But to go from a port town to snow and stuff, that's going to be pretty rough. Now that everyone has shelter, we can now focus on the next steps for Murph. Murph. I should go check out the crypt north of town. Some people went and said it was really impressive. It is really impressive. It's forking beautiful is what it is. That's what it is. All right, so we'll see if there's anything else we can do here. Looks like there's a person out here. After losing almost everything in Brisk, it's great to be starting anew. Can't use any of these buildings just yet, but we even have a town elder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the headmaster, by the way, doing that. I, I, like, I understand. Like, at some point, you're like, oh, he's quitting when disaster is potentially imminent and the end of the world could happen because of this dweller and we can't fight this dweller. But really, what he says is he has gone through so much and he just lost, he just basically lost everything because of his pupils betray, And that, like... You, if you spend your entire life fighting for this and then to see it all that's gotta be so tough I think I'll build his house right here will you come back later to see it yeah all right so it looks like they're gonna put his house there love that did you know Moraine is an old solstice warrior and he was also a master or something Moraine, Moraine, what's your favorite color? Do you like animals? Do you have a lot of friends? What's your favorite food? Moraine. Ah, they remind me of you two when you were young. Yeah, I could see that. Can we get up onto the top of this building? Oh, ah, I see a chest there. So yes, we can. Let's do it. There is another rainbow conch we can find here in Murph. Obviously, talk to everybody. There's still a lot of work left to be done, but we have a good thing going on here. I'm so glad I moved here. As soon as I smelled the piney air, I knew it was the right decision. Piney, is that how you spell piney? And now for a well-deserved break. Hmm. What a, what an exquisite. The game is just, it just continues to impress. And every time I think, oh, wow, this section was really cool. They do something that I just wasn't expecting. Uh, including town building here. I wonder how much we'll actually be able to build. So anyways, we can grab a rainbow conch there, bringing our total, I believe, to 22, uh, I want to say. Yep, 23, actually. My favorite number. Look at that. Uh, and that's pretty much all we can do here in Mirth. Not seeing anything else. We can't enter any of the buildings yet, but we do need to keep an eye out for building plans now as we explore the rest of the world. Hortense is here. She's going to... Talk to her, and we can get back on the Vespertine, which, I mean, having access... Oh, this water's probably real cold, considering there's ice everywhere. All right, Hortense, nothing else here, so let's set sail. Yolanda says the crew be done fixing what needed fixing. Reckon you might be in for some extra firepower should the need arise. Sarai learns an ultimate attack. Ultimate attack. Vespertine cannons. Build the ultimate attack gauge by spending combo points in battle. I'm sorry, what? Yo, I... They're introducing combat mechanics now? <gasps> Back to the Great Archives. Thus, the town of Mirth was founded. While those who preferred to stay in Brisk worked on restoring it to its former beauty, 
While down, but certainly not out, Zael, Valir, Garl, and Sarai set sail for Watcher Island in hopes of finding the Oracle of Tides. Should their will prove strong enough, the chapters yet to be written would soon unfold. I love the Archivist. We do know that the Archivist is one of the immortal alchemists, the opposite of the Fleshmancer. There were, there were two of them. We do have access back on the Vespertine. I actually want to see... There's a little section here of the map that we didn't open in this corner. So we'll just sail directly this way. Maybe there's nothing over here. Maybe there's nothing over here yet. So this is the Mesa Island. You can see the giant force fields around it. We can't do anything unless that guardian maybe wakes up. So we can't do anything there. They do want us to go to Watcher Island to continue the story, but what kind of completionist would I be if I didn't go to, well, we can't actually get to Evermist Island, but now that we know the name of Yeet, which is ridiculous and I love it, by the way, uh, we can head back to Sleeper Island and I guess backtrack all the way back up to where Extol threw us way back in the very, geez, second, third episode of the series, maybe? All right. So, I want to check how Brisk is doing. Uh, welcome to Brisk. The repairs are all but complete. Uh, okay. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad about this. So, okay. So there's nothing missable in Brisk then. It looks like we're fine. We're, we're back and it's no big deal. Need a lot of chips to get the trade going again. If only there was a painter with true flair. Long to have the essence of my beauty immortalized on canvas. We've seen a painter, haven't we? It's weird seeing our docks without any boats. One thing at a time, though. We'll get to that eventually. Indeed. So that means that this secret one is still here. Yes, it is. Okay, great. So we can actually go to the hidden market. And we're so close to buying the Eye of Yamora, which displays weaknesses, resistances, and non-boss enemy HP in combat. Uh, there's also Dubious Dare. Uh, which increases damage taken, which is, which is interesting. Uh, it increases, I think what it does is it increases damage taken to the enemy and to you. Tome of Knowledge, which increases XP gained. We're still going to hold out on stuff like that. Increases damage in certain situations is double-edged. So I think at this point, y'all, we should buy the Eye of Yamora. We have 742 gold, so we're going to sell some stuff here. The only thing I don't want to sell is stuff that seems to be like, uh, like a missable item, for instance. Like the, like you can only find one of them. Like the Squire Sword, or the Cauldron Lid, or the Training Staff, or the Training Sword. Like things that we can't buy anywhere, but that we started with, you know? The things that we can buy from a shop, we can sell those, I think, because it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Silver Dagger, she started with, so, like, I don't want to sell those. Uh, so I have to be a little bit careful about what I sell. I know it doesn't matter. It's probably not that big of a deal, but if we couldn't buy them anywhere, I don't really want to get rid of them. All right, we have enough for the Eye of Yamara, which we know now is one of the th sisters. The sister of Romaya is Yamara, and then there's the other one as well. This is the good one? The neutral one? Anyways, we'll pick that up for sure. Displays weaknesses, resistances, and non-boss enemies uh, HP. So we'll we'll get that. We'll equip that on to our girl, Valir. And then, of course, we got to get these other ones too. Dubious Dare, Tome of Knowledge, Double Edge. So let's sell some, res some, some materials, maybe? All right, we have enough to at least buy one of these relics. Uh, let's go ahead and buy for now. I don't want the Tome of Knowledge because the way that the leveling works in this game is if you, like, if there's any other characters that join us, which there might not be at this point, uh, but if there's any other characters that join us, they would join with their level being, uh, their, their stat distribution being pre-decided. So we want to gain as many levels when we have full control over the characters, is my understanding. So... Eh, let's go ahead and buy it anyways, so this way we have it for when we want to use it. 
Tome containing techniques to optimize one's learning ability and general growth increases XP gained by 20%. That is a lot of XP. I almost want to use it, but we won't. Not yet, anyways. When, we, when we're when we able to max out our party and get them looking good and hot, that's when, that's when we'll do that. There's a couple other things I want to grab here while we're in Brisk. It's probably going to be a backtracky heavy episode today. My grandpa was so brave. I want to be like him when I grow up. Now, if I remember right, somebody in the comments told me that there was somebody that I missed that was looking for fillets, I think it was? Some fish stuff? Some stuff was changed, actually, from Old Brill. Like, where this statue is, now there's, like, a pool here with a waterfall that actually looks really nice. Uh, it's very cool looking. Little pool areas. This building apparently is still under construction, so we can't go over here yet. Have you seen the work site right there? Apparently, they're building an arena. An arena in Brisk is being built. Okay. Then there's this guy chilling. I didn't see this guy before, that's for sure. Gatin Piment. Le je I don't know French. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Sorry. Probably butchered. I don't know French. Yeah, so if we jump off the pier where the hidden shop is and come over to the west side, we'll be able to find these guys here. You got this, son! Only 40 more! Oh, I hate fishing so much, but my dad says we can't leave until we've caught enough. We've been here forever! Think you could lend a hand? Once we have 40 fillets, we'll be able to leave. Could you spare some fish? I really want to get out of here. Uh, so we have 32. Let's go ahead and let's let's go get 40 and come on back. Of course, I wouldn't have had to do that if I didn't go spend or sell a bunch of my fillets so that I could try to buy the... I have Yamora and some relics, but here we go. We got 41 now. We'll go ahead, give all 40. No way, we could leave at last. Here, this is for you. And we get another rainbow conch. So now, friends, we should have as many rainbow conches as you are possible. It's possible to get at this point in the game, which is 24 without, you know, doing more backtracking, which of course we are about to partaketh in. I can't believe I didn't swim over here though. I don't know why I didn't. That's so strange. Maybe I just so happened to not swim exactly where they were. I don't know. All right, so we're going to leave Brisk. We're going to keep an eye out for a painter, though, for this this mole man here. We're going to see what we can find in maybe the Coral Cascades. Man, I miss the brightness, though, of like after being... I loved Lucent and that Wraith Island was so cool, but... Being able to, you know, see these these areas that we've been to before and how just beautiful all of the colors and all of the art is. Ah, I missed it. That was actually a really quick way back. You just kind of use these geysers and there we go. We're through the Coral Cascades. And now we can take the elevator up to the Stonemason's Outpost. All right, but we know there was a painter here in the Stonemason's Outpost. I also want to just say hello to this guy. A place to relax in hot pool of water without being surrounded by people who engage in stress. Oh, you mean like the town Mirth? Mirth, you say? We absolutely must do something with those hot springs. I'll go right now. Look at that. I knew it. Uh, my brother finally finished a painting. I can't believe it. So I believe the painter is in here. No. All right, I think the painter's in this build. Nope. Oh, but there's another, wait a minute. These were not here before, friends. Now they're performing and there's another wheels table here as well. That's interesting. Let's talk to him first. What? 
There's a model in Brisk who wants her essence captured. That's exactly the kind of inspiration I was looking for. I'm leaving immediately. Goodbye, Darrow. Is that his name? Darrow? All right. See ya, Bromigo. We got that rainbow conch earlier. Let's go ahead and see if we can get anything from this champion game. We have another wheels match. We have an engineer and a knight. So this is definitely a different map or a different match than the one that we just did not too long ago. We'll go ahead and uh, let's do it. It is an engineer, though. So, again, we have to watch out for the engineer. They can hurt our bulwark a lot. Uh, and then, not to mention that, but they can also help their own. So, we want to keep an eye on, on that. I'm not super worried, though, because the knight is actually pretty bad. As long as we have a bulwark up, the knight is kind of useless. So, I don't know. Maybe we grab this? Unfortunately, not able to get a bulwark there, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to grab all of those because that's great. We actually would like maybe one more of the gold if we could. Unfortunately, losing out there, but that's okay. Unfortunately, the knight going to be able to attack there for three damage. But we are also going to be able to attack for three damage with the archer. So looking pretty good here. Not too shabby. We're going to grab these just because we ended up getting three of them. and I Oh, perfect. Look at that. So we'll be able to get one little promotion thing, not not actually promoted, but a little progress on that promotion for the mage. Perfect. We'll go ahead and grab those. That's... Oh, yeah. We need one more. Actually, we don't. We should be good here. And the mage is going to attack, which is huge. So we'll be able to hit with the first hit and then again with two. So already down to three here on the face. And we got a promotion for our mage as well. So wheels is wildly fun, y'all. And uh, if you ever played Kingdom Hearts 3, the crown with the two things there looks like a hidden Mickey. So, you know, uh, let that torture you forever. So the engineer does five damage to a bulwark. At that point, it's not worth having a bulwark, I don't think. I think we just want to really focus on... Uh, really, we just need the archer to attack once here, and we win. And there we go. So we should be able to win right now. And boom, face done. We win. Hasta la vista. Stonemason's Outpost wheels game super, super easily. Let me know in the comments below if I should do like a tutorial video for wheels, because I feel like it's pretty easy. We found a silver wheel. Uh, we already got a silver. We already got a. We already got a silver. So now we have two of them? Oh, I understand. Okay, so I reloaded a save because I actually sold something I didn't mean to. Uh, but if you would beat... So if you bought Yolanda down in the Vespertine dock, uh, you'd get the silver wheel. And then if you come here, you would actually get a, another reward. So we're going to... When we get back to the Vespertine, we'll we'll do... I'll, I'll obviously skip that. But we would be getting something else for winning that one, which is, well, you'll see. And I believe that's everything we can do here at the Stonemason's Outpost. We were able to talk to the person taking a bath who is apparently going to head to the to the, our town of Mirth now. So we want to keep an eye out for NPCs to talk to. Obviously, I'm just talking to everybody because, well, there's a lot we can get. Well, there is actually something here in the Moorlands that we can't interact with yet still. And that is these crystals. We can't do anything with those just yet, but hey, good to know to keep in mind for the inevitable future here. All right, that's everything we could find in the Moorlands. There was nothing besides that those rocks there or crystals, whatever. So back to the mountain pass area. Wow. Man, I know it wasn't that long ago, especially if, like, you're watching these videos in the future, but uh, because of the break I took in recording the series, it's been a while, y'all. Doesn't look like there's anything that we can grab now that we have the grapplu or anything else here, so let's go ahead and talk to... Uh, 
Zottle stands still, awaiting a magic word. And that magic word, yeet! My favorite part of that is, is that, is that they, like, when we first did this, I literally was like, yeet! And that's its name. Its name is Yeet. And how many other people did that? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so we were... Now we're we're back, finally. We're back at the very, the very first area that we started in here. Oh, and if we... Oh, that's cool. Little, just a little... Oh, I like that. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do that, though, because surely... And I do remember very early on in the game... Like, we have this too, but we already, we are, oh, wait, this is where, what could this be? This is where we saw, oh, right. This is where the light went off when we opened the solstice shrine. Okay. Good to know that that's indeed where that is. When we first began our journey here in the Sea of Stars, right away, we saw that there was this here. Right at the very beginning of the game, literally like when we started it, before even the flashback to when they were kids. Now we can finally use it and we get another rainbow conch bringing our total. I believe that puts us at 25. We're cruising here. I don't, I think it said 60 in the book on the Vespertine. So that is great. I wonder if there's anything else we can grab but that's near the beginning of the mountain trail, so I guess we could have just used the thing. And my friends, I think that's everything that we can grab here at the mountain pass, mountain trail, whatever you want to call it. So, back on the world map, which again, you could have used a shortcut to get here just by using this geyser. It would put you all the way down. You could probably get the conch a lot faster, but we have a solstice shrine. One we have not done yet. But before we do that, let's check camp. It's good to know the people of Mirth are safe. And also, do you think we should go for that shrine near Mountain Trail? We just have to go back to Extol, which we already did. We're already here. Look at that. She's already telling us. This is awesome. Are we really going to find a hidden city underwater now? Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's that's what he meant, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. All right. And finally, we could do the Solstice Shrine of... Ever missed island. It's I love it because we came here to check it out way back, and finally we get to use the ever missed shrine key that we just got from the headmaster. And let's do it. Another puzzle based area. Oh, it looks like it wants us to. We want to make. Hmm. Well, what do we do? Okay, so if we do... Actually, I'm just curious if we push that. Okay, so these can't go on those. Whereas I think the purple one can only go on that. It actually looks... Oh, I see. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I was thinking then. So if we push this one down into that and then push that over there. See, if I push that there, it's going to get stuck. So I don't want to do that. Actually, wait. Yes, I do. All right, we push that there. Okay, so this one can go on... I think we just literally follow... So we go up, and then we push it this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Okay, we're creating the path. I think that's it. All right, so now that that is in position, we put that there, right? And then this one can go... Shoot. Okay, it's, it has to go there, this way. This one has to go there. And then... I think we need to do... This has to go this way, this way, and then back. Wait, wait, wait. I think we just push this one back there, and then this one up. And then that... Boom! Easy peasy puzzle, baby. And we got another one of these. Zale and Valir learned combo skill soon rang. And that will take out another light 
on that shrine below the Elder Mist, which is interesting. It also kind of looks like the Elder Mist on there, so... Can we light these? I mean, we could light the, all, all the other ones. Might as well. All right, so it looks like that's all we can do. So that's another Solstice Shrine done, my friends. You love to see it. So can I look at skills? So that's for that's for Valir and Lunar and Solar magic projectiles that can bounce to multiple. Oh, so it's like her moon. Or, yeah, soon ring. So it's like the. Ooh, yeah, baby. That's gonna be great. So kind of like kind of like moon ring, but infused with the two of the. Oh, that's gonna do so much damage. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, no way! So does that mean we can go... Oh, we can get right on the Vespertine from here! Oh, heck yeah! Real quick. Alright, there we go. The other thing about... The thing I will say about wheels... So I just redid that battle because of... I forgot. Uh, the thing... It's still very much a... Like... You can have a strategy and know what you want, but it's still very RNG. You might just get bad rolls. That's okay. You just go again. And we get the engineer figurine. So depending on which one, it's apparently the order that you do wheels. Not like you don't get a specific one for each. You know what I'm saying? So like if you waited till the end, it doesn't, you're going to get different rewards at different places. But anyways, we now have the engineer figurine. So that's dope. Could have gotten that from either here or at the Mole Man, which is where we would have gotten it if I wasn't dumb. So, good to know. I mean, obviously, we just got to go back to Moon Cradle, right? That's, like, the only thing we can do. I mean, we could go to the Fishing Hole, but there's nothing there, I'm sure. Moon? Forbidden? Oh, we got to go through the Forbidden Cavern first, don't we? Which, there wasn't much there, so we're already done with that. Love it. Hello, Purple Moon Cradle. It's been so long since we've been here. Wow. Look at all the items that are here now. Oh, God, I love backtracking. I actually do, though. Like, there, there's stuff about it that I, that I actually really like. That sense of progression feels so good. All right, so we're going to go up here first. We have a... We want to talk to all the NPCs, make sure that we're... You know. Hello, what do we have? 25 gold. Okay. Looks like we have to walk across the top of the arch thing there to get that one. There's a farmer here. Weird plants. Crops will be good this year. I don't know what those are. Can we blow stuff around? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, are these like weeds that we want to destroy? I think so. All right, we just have the one last thorn to hit. Trying to figure out... Oh, okay, we just do that, and then this goes up there, and boom, last thorn. Cool. Do we talk to you? I don't... Well, we did it, but... Maybe you? There's a fisherman in town. He said he was looking for a place to settle. Ooh, like in Mirth? Hello. No, wait, you cleared all the thorns? It's so nice of you to help like that. I see you haven't forgotten your roots. Get it? Roots? <laughs> anyway, here's a little something for you. Oh, sweet. So for doing that, we get... Me messy. We get another rainbow conch, bringing our total to 26. Love to see that. There's also a little area down here with a little cave. I think we check this out. Oh, weird. It's just a rest area. We never gave back the treasure we found as kids. Good memories. Ha ha. Ours now. All right. So those will stay gone, which is good. We have uh, that guy that doesn't want us to look at the mess. Let's see what's in. Oh, oh, this is the fisherman guy. Oh, hello there. I'm a traveling fisherman, currently looking to settle down. Now that I've seen it all, I would like to run a fishing house somewhere relaxing. 
The perfect place, you say? Well, I'll be. Onwards to Mirth, then. Hey, that's two NPCs now for Mirth. Grand's food is best. I bet she taught Garl. Take care of yourselves. Don't overdo it, huh? It does not do to push oneself too much. Okay. Cool. All right. Looks like they're going to say the same thing. But more importantly, friends, we do have yet another wheels match we can do here. Wheels player champion game. Let's see what we're up against. So much backtracking and mini games and wheels. And I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. So like this episode might not. What is that? Uh, this episode might not be for everybody, but you know, it is for me. I tell you what. All right. So this is a priest, uh, which can give actions to people. I think have we maybe we fought with the against a priest before. Uh, but they can give actions, they can also heal. So, heal the crown, I'm guessing, every time they take a turn. So, uh, we're just gonna do the archer-mage combo and hope that we get some decent RNG here. Okay, this is going to be a hard wheels match. We're gonna need RNG on our side to win this one. Holy smokes. Alright, well, let's see how we do. Definitely think that... Actually, engineer might end up being the play here for this type of match, using a mage and an engineer. Uh, just to keep that bulwark up, because the knight, the the priest doesn't really matter. As long as we have a constant bulwark up, the knight can't do anything. Getting a little bit of face damage already with the archer, but that can not matter very quickly on uh, any match with a priest like this. As long as we keep a bulwark up, I think we'll be okay. It doesn't need to be a big one. It just needs to be, it just needs to be there. All right, so our archer is going to get an upgrade here and then be able to fire on face. Priest is going to heal and allow the knight to go, but again, it doesn't matter because I have at least any bulwark, even one, will stop the knight dead in its tracks, which is wonderful for us. Knight already going, or the archer already going again, bringing this champion to two crown health here. We're actually looking pretty good, friends. I think what we're going to do here is actually just see if the archer can go again. That's a really good RNG for us. The priest is going to get a heal out. And that means that the knight isn't quite able to attack. But we should finish it right now with a six to the face. And there we go. We were able to win this one. Not bad. Although, yeah, I think, I think having the archer and the mage is a pretty good... Pretty good call. You won. Congratulations. Here's your prize. And we get a gold wheel. Oh, that's going to be very helpful for us. I wonder if there's any wheels after this. A level three wheel. So should be doing a little bit better and just have less blanks that we can roll. Just a better wheel. But we're not done yet. There's still more to do in Moon Cradle. It's so peaceful here. It is. You're right. All right. What do we have in here? What is this? Is this an inn? Need to rest? Uh, no. Come back anytime. There's also, there is somebody resting. I'm ready to get some sleep. Okay. Enjoy that. And then I think, talk to this person. The crops are doing great as always. The stories about the soil having some magic to it must be true. I mean, looks very different than anything we've seen before. I still can't believe you are solstice warriors already. It feels like you just arrived a couple of years ago. Uh, we're going to take your lettuce. My cabbages! And then I think we can pop up here. Perfect. And grab this chest, which contains... Ah! Music sheet number one. Alright. So we were able to get music sheet one and two. We could drop those off with the pirates at any time, too. We're doing great on supplies. Good for you. Good for you. There's a chest hidden over here, which has celestial willow leaf. Huh. I bet you that's an item for... Teeks might get a story from this. That's exactly who I thought it would be from. The celestial willow. All right, looks like maybe something else to do here. Ugh, I'm supposed to pile all the leaves into that big, that pile twigs for a fire pile of twigs. All right, so we'll just we'll just like load these into it. 
That's pretty easy. Whoops. And? Hey, you did it. You're welcome. Thank you so much for your help. Here, you can have this. And we get another rainbow catch. That brings our total to 27, 25, 26. It, a number? 27. 27 rainbow conches now. Nice. I think there's 60 total in the game, so I'm a big fan of that. Maybe we can go back up to the Zenith Academy? Well, I didn't see anything in Zenith Academy. There was somebody that commented on Erlina and Brugavs and how they were so nice to them before and they just, they can't believe that this happened. And there's also the Headmaster's Office, which needs a key that we don't have to get into it. But I wanted to check a couple more things before we leave this area. In the Forbidden Cave, I think if we head into this room here to the left, we'll see this block. And I believe if we just go ahead and push it, we'll be able to find... Oh, look at that! A rainbow conch! Love to see it right there in the Forbidden the forbidden cave. I knew there was something in here, man. So that brings our total. We're cruising. Can we, yeah, we can move this again. I guess it doesn't matter which side you move it to. I'm glad that I double checked the, sh I'm glad I double checked that. Uh, and I, I, now that I've done that, I want to double check areas that I just didn't feel that I checked very thoroughly. And the next one we're going to check for that. I'm going to check the elder miss trials again. Cause I, I kind of just blazed through it. I do think I could have sworn I remember there being a block that we couldn't do anything with in the Elder Mist trial area. At least I thought so. So let's try this left-hand side path first, because I actually didn't try this. I just ran. There we go. Look at that. I knew it. Oh, and look at that. Rainbow conch right behind that block. All right. Well, that brings us now to... 29 Rambo Conches. That was a pretty successful backtrack, if I don't say so myself. Obviously, I'm going to do a little check around here. All right, I think that's everything that we can find in this area. I think, friends, that we're almost done backtracking. But hey, it was worth it, y'all. You got to do it, right? 100% completion, going for all trophies, get that platinum trophy here. Got to have episodes that are backtracky. And you know, this feels like the perfect time to do that. We just got access to the, basically the world map, the ship. It's, we, we should do it. And we'll, we don't need to use the yeet to go to Exotal anymore. So we're going to use the boat here. And I think friends, that's everything we can do on at least for now, in Ever Missed Isle. So we're gonna head back to the old uh, Sleeper Island here. Actually, because we can go check in and brisk because we did grab the, the painter who hopefully is painting this mole model, mole, mole model. Oh, I knew it. Thank you for helping me to find a worthwhile muse. Here, this is the least I can offer. Another rainbow conch. Y'all, that brings us up to 30. Today is a me day. That's that's not, you're not even painting. That's not even, that's not even the same person. You're not even paint. Wow. Rude AF. And while we're in Brisk, I sold some stuff, some, some, some food items so that I can go ahead and buy the the dubious dare and the double edge so we have those relics now as well let's see what those do dubious dare for those who prefer grittier combat demanding more strategy and timing skill increases damage taken by 40 percent so that is both to us and to the enemies that i'm guessing and then double edge which is the new one. Increases enemy defense bonus while casting. Decreases enemy defense while not casting. So basically just rewards you for breaking locks. I don't, I also don't, like my big thing about relics, and I think I've explained this before, is I don't really want to use any that change the, the base game. I think it's amazing that you can, but I don't want to use any because, it, you know, then then my experience is just going to be different than, than anybody else's, right? 
awesome that you can do that. You can make the game easier, harder, whatever you want to do. I think that is one of the coolest things this game does, but... And our last thing that we're going to do, I believe, here is we're going to head back to Mirth and see what we've done. I don't have building. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, there's nothing we could do in Mirth then, friends. My bad. Which means, dear viewers, we are heading to the area that we are going to bring the Coral Hammer down to Watcher Island. Which we can see this mysterious tower here. Very interesting. And a dock as well. Which looks like this is where we need to go. Watcher Island. Where's the guardian of what? There it is. Looks like a... I don't even know. Like a... Almost like a goblin orc troll looking thing. Huh. Well. Guess we'll check that out. What about... What about this? That their tower be sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Ain't no getting in this way. Oh, is it, you say? We also have Teeks that we can talk to. Because, by the way, we did get that miss that new story. New story unlocked Moon Cradle. Well, I think we should hear a Teek story before ending this episode. Moon Cradle and the Elder Mist. It was as compelling as invitations could get. All of the best artisans the world over received it. A personalized letter signed by the mysterious Great Eagle. Enclosed were directions, along with the promise of a worthwhile endeavor and a touch of magic. They gathered in mass on the barren island to the southwest, hoping to meet the mysterious Great Eagle who had signed their invitations. But all they found when they arrived were three vials, two of which were sealed. When they opened the first vial, it became clear to all that there was even more to the Great Eagle than what the stories had shared. As the cork was removed, a solar eclipse occurred, and magical light flew in from above the sky, reshaping the peninsula into a crescent. At the end of its dance, the light coalesced on the cliffside and gave birth to a tree so beautiful it appeared to belong in a dream. The celestial willow rose up while the grass turned to its signature purple hue, as if the magic had spoken directly to their minds, the builders knew exactly what they had to do. They would build the town of Moon Cradle and hold a festival by the Celestial Willow twice a year in expectation of the Great Eagle's visit. Unless they happened to be born in Moon Cradle, children of the Solstice would never know their real parents. So that no one would feel different or rejected, Moon Cradle was built around one core tenant, community. They built a common dormitory for everyone, along with a single shared dining hall. Zenith Academy was also clearly visible in all of their minds. They built it, but had no idea how to give it its final touch. That was when the second vial uncorked itself. Glowing runes flew out and embedded themselves into Zenith Academy's foundation, enchanting it with levitation magic. The school in the sky was born. As if to celebrate the builder's efforts, the third seal was undone, and out of the tiny vial flowed a seemingly endless stream of mist. It permeated Evermist Island, giving it its name. In the end, a peculiar voice spoke to their minds. The voice provided guidelines for the education of Solstice warriors and stressed the importance of seeking out the Elder Mist once their training was complete. As the voice grew faint, the three vials disappeared. Since that day, the people of Moon Cradle have held the festival to welcome children of the Solstice, taking it upon themselves to nurture them until they come of age. Solstice warriors would come and go, protecting the world while attempting to fulfill the prophecies bestowed upon them by the Elder Mist. As the battle continues between dwellers and Solstice warriors, Moon Cradle represents the hope that someday, guardian gods may rise and bring about lasting peace. The end. Thanks, Teeks! So, we've definitely heard about those guardian gods. Very curious what that is going to end up being. And there you go, friends. That is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to like, comment, all of that stuff. It really helps out the series and it needs it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Never give up. Never surrender to backtracking. Goodbye, everyone.